Hey, my name is Billy Deardoff. I'm Jari Hemrick. And you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> do, 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 do. Right now, I am on my sixth year at UNK. I know it's a long time. Um, <laughs> I'm double majoring in graphic design and acting, and hopefully with this, with these degrees, I'll be able to become an actor. Hopefully in movies is what I'm aiming for. If not, voice acting would be a good, um, something I would like to do as well. I'm a freshman. My major right now is studio art, a comprehensive in illustration, because I want to go into graphic novels because I want to try and get in the movie business too. And lots of books nowadays have been made into movies. Right. So if I can get this graphic novel to make a lot of noise with it, I can possibly slip into the movie industry that way. Nice. <laughs> um, hmm. I, okay, I'm not for sure, but I've been called both millennial and generation Z. Z. Yeah. yeah, I think my generation was on the edge and so it's kind of in between there. Um, the one big thing about my generation, at least from like my point of view from my school year, is that my class went through so much change. Like every year, like stuff has happened that just completely threw us off our rocker. And if there's one thing I know my generation, at least here has, is we know at least how to adapt. Yeah. So an adaptable generation yeah. Z, millennial <laughs> thing. It's hard, it's hard to describe it. No, I agree. And I don't, I think setting generations and say, like labeling a certain group of people, a certain generation to fit them in within whatever standards of that generation is, is stupid and it's kind of an old way of life. So I think generations, the reason why no one can define what generation they're in is because we're no longer in that, you know, kind of life. We just, maybe the decades are born, maybe you can help define who you are more, but even that is pretty vague, so. Which generation, like, if you were to label yourself, which one are you? Like, what do you be in? I don't even know what the characteristics are of either <laughs> one. All I know is, like, depending on what, they're both bad and they're both good. No. We're Generation iPod. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me how you feel when you think about graduating and what comes next. I just want to get out of school, <laughs> period. That's really all it is for me. It's just to get done with it so I can move on with the next step of my life. I can't imagine graduating right now, first year, but there will be a time where I want to get out and... There's definitely a limit in, in how much you can learn in college before you start feeling like you're never going to leave or you're going to be lost. <laughs> like yeah. you're just going to be really confused because you're always going to know school and nothing else. So. And like there will be a time where I want to get out because I've, I've lived here most of my life and I'm like, yeah. I, w I was scared to move away so I, it's why I stayed in state or in town. <laughs> yeah, let's say you, you not only stayed in the same state, you stayed in the same city <laughs> where I just came from a bigger yeah. city to this one. So it's a little bit of a change. So. But I feel like I'll be ready enough to go and finally take that leap that I wanted to take but was too scared to do yeah. like this year. But you'd be more ready then because you have all the information you need to do that leap so mm -hmm. or make the leap. Yeah. So I feel like graduation will be rather scary but really exciting at the same time.